How you doing, Vooch? All right, so the offense was outscored 64 to 56 between the starters. You contributed with 16. Um, is everyone gelling on the same page? And how's the offensive flow from the first half to the second half? Because it seems in the second half, you guys seem to pick up the pace more. So did we get a score, the starters, or we just scored in? Um, as starters, Cleveland had 64. As starters, you guys had 56. I think our uh, you know, to start the game, you know, we we weren't uh, uh, you know moving the ball as well offensively. We weren't doing a, a, as good of a job as we could, but we also missed some shots. Uh, you know, I, I started the game more for six, so uh, you know, obviously we weren't shooting the ball very well, and I think you know also uh, we missed uh, quite a bit of free throws as well. But uh, you know, I thought as the game went on, it was better. Uh, I think Terrence was big for us in the first half. He he did well, uh, you know, making some shots. And in the second half, Wayne did very well. Uh, so you know, it, it wasn't a I think I think from both sides, it wasn't a pretty game offensively. You know, for today's NBA, it was pretty low scoring, one of five to ninety two or three something. So I think offensively, both teams didn't really shoot the ball well. But uh, you know, I thought that our defense was you know good and uh, helped us win the game. So you know, sometimes it's going to be like that. But I think that and also the fact that you know, we lost Markel, who's you know, our point guard and who runs our team, you know, that was big for us as well because you know, uh, Cole had to you know, step in and play a major role, uh, which you know, is his first time for him. And he's you know, only seven games into his rookie year. So it was also for us, you know, we were missing some guys. So it's not always easy to play that way. Then in Prince's way. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Uh, Nick, you just mentioned it. Uh, what what was your how much of a painful blow is it to to lose Markel? Uh, it's a huge blow for, for us, uh, but you know, uh, no, most you no. Know, unfortunately for him, you know, this is you know really uh, you know, it really sucks because you know he finally after you know two years when you know he he had injury with his shoulder and last year he finally you know got to play and then this year you know, it was supposed to be a big year for him it was really you know, uh, ready and was really feeling great and uh, we you know, started off the season awesome and it really sucks, you know, for, for, for a guy like him who's worked his way back. Uh, it's a very difficult injury and, you know, to happen on a play like that, it's uh, it's hard to see. Um, you know, you, you definitely feel for the guy and, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. It's just part of the job we do. Injuries happen. Uh, you know, I'm sure he's going to, you know, get back, you know, better from it and stronger, but it's just another hurdle he has to go through uh, in his career, but it, it really sucks. I mean, it really, you know, you know makes you, uh, you know, appreciate the game even more when, you know, you see that things like that happen and how it can be taken away from somebody for a long period, just one second in one play. So, you know, obviously we'll, we'll all, you know, I pray for him for, you know, quick recovery. You know, we'll be there to support him, but it, it definitely sucks tonight and it kind of overshadows the win. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Vooch, you touched on a little bit. Uh, Cole Anthony obviously gets thrust into a, a bigger role. Just just how tough of a challenge is that for, you know, a, a rookie point guard and how well equipped do you feel he is to, to take on that challenge? Very difficult. And I think the point guard position, you know, is probably the, the hardest, uh, you know, position to, you know, for, for a young player. I mean, some of the best players in this league are at that position. I mean, in your role and your uh, – and a team is a, is huge. I mean, you have to run a whole team. You have to get everybody set up. You have to make sure, you know, you know everybody's play, uh, everybody's plays, everybody knows their play, everybody's in the right spot. Uh, you have to get to have feel for the game. Uh, all that is very, very difficult. And uh, so it's not easy for a young player to come in and have to, to take to, to do that. But I think I felt like tonight he did actually pretty well. Uh, you know, he uh, he was able to run offense well, did, did what you know he needed to do and uh, you know, didn't make many mistakes or anything. Uh, so it's going to take him some time. And I mean, obviously we understand that he's a young player and it's different to play at the college level, point guard and, and NBA uh, level. It's very diff different, but uh, you know, he obviously, he for sure has a talent. Uh, you know, we just have to you know help him out and uh, be around him. But the good thing also is that, you know, uh, our offense, you know, we run a lot of stuff through a lot of different guys. So it's not always as dependent on the point guard. So I think that, that will help him as well. But you no, know, we'll just, you know, I'll be there to, to help him. And I'm sure as the season goes on, he's going to get better. Pat Walter. Uh, Nicola, how frustrating is it having made the playoffs for the first time in such a long time two years ago and to not have this team be healthy enough to kind of develop the way you'd like to see really ever since? 
Yeah, that's actually a very good question. Uh, it, it's very frustrating, you know, you when you miss, you know, key guys uh, in a year when you feel like you can maybe, you know, finally take that next step. It's, you know, it's uh, it's frustrating. Uh, you know, first, you know, J.I., he, he's going to be out for the year, and now it's Markel. Uh, it's very frustrating, you know, two big pieces and two guys that, you know, are part of, you know, uh, the future of this team as well. So it's very frustrating. Uh, but again, I mean, it's – it's just part of, you know, what we do is part of our jobs. You know, it happens. Unfortunately, every year you have, you know, guys miss uh, significant time because of injuries. You know, this year, you know, you had Clay Tom, who he just recovered from ACL and he tore his Achilles, you know. So, unfortunately, we, we, th these things happen. And, uh, I mean, it's obviously the hardest for, for the guy who's going through it. Uh, but for us, the team, I mean, all we can do is, you know, try to, you know, next man up and try to, you know, find the best way to play and, uh, you know, continue to, Play well, and hopefully, then you know, we can still achieve our goals. Roy Perry, Orlando Sentinel. Booch, just kind of building off that. Obviously, you know, you guys had some injuries coming in tonight, and then losing Markel was was quite a blow. But can you just talk about, you know, the resiliency that you guys showed tonight? Yeah, I mean, in those moments, a lot of times, you know, what will happen is the team will kind of, you know, come together even closer, and you know, you're trying to kind of even play harder and try to kind of get the win for, for the guy that got injured. And I think that's kind of what happened tonight. We're able to really get ourselves. And uh, actually, we started playing better after that because I felt like, you know, for whatever reason, things like that sometimes just give you a boost. It, it, I mean, not a boost, but like, I don't know, it gives you some energy that kind of makes you play better. And so it was, uh, I mean, it's just, you know, you have to have that mentality, just next man up. And uh, I mean, just the way it is. And uh, I think that tonight we did, well, with that, I mean, they obviously had some injured players as well, so neither teams were at full strength. But uh, they were able to, you know, a lot of guys had to, you know, take, do some stuff out there that I don't necessarily used to do, and uh, they did a good job with it. So, you know, it's unfortunate that you know, that happened and that we're in that situation, and it's very unfortunate for Markel. Uh, but, you know, we, we as a team, we just have to find a way. Philip Rossman, right? Hey, um, you know, how do you help, you know, kind of Cole get, get, get integrated with that starting unit and, and kind of take on that, that bigger role? I mean, you had six assists tonight. You know, you guys were, were really moving the ball. And like you said, you kind of play through a bunch of different guys. How, how do you help Cole kind of kind of get up to speed and kind of make sure that he's learning at the right pace? I mean, you know, a lot of it, you know, for, for him is going to be, you know, uh, just, you know, watching the film, studying the film with assistant coaches and, uh, you know, making sure that that, that's, that can be a big part for him as a you know, young point guard in the league, you know, kind of see the reads uh, he makes throughout the game, what's there, what's not there and things like that. So that's going to be, you know, big for him and just, uh, you know, experience, for, you know, from each game. Uh, but for us, you know, just try to make, you know, uh, make it as easy as we can for him, you know, communicate with him, talk to him, uh, you know, uh, you know, like I said, we run through a lot of stuff through different guys. So you know, it's on us to, you know, the veteran guys to help him when we, you know, when he's in a you know, tough position or something to, you know, trying to find ways to help him. So, but, you know, he, he's a good player. He's very talented. So I'm sure, you know, he, he'll do fine. Um, and uh, he, he'll be able to take over the role well. It's just, you know, there's many different ways that, you know, he'll be able to learn that throughout the year. Okay. We have time for one or two more. Uh, Eric Wilson. Hey, Vooch, given this unique season right now with you guys playing certain teams back to back, when you guys go on the road, how is the energy going to be? Like you guys are, you know, you're, you're playing these teams and it's very difficult to beat them. You were successful tonight. But moving forward, until you get these guys back, until you get Evan back, till you get MCW back, what's going to be the mentality of you guys progressing? I mean, is this uh... – I mean, whatever we have available, we would just have to go out there and uh, play and compete. And it's the same for every team around the league. You know, every team has injuries. Every team is missing guys, and especially the way the, the season is, you know, kind of su suppressed. Is You know, when somebody misses time, it's, you know, he's usually going to miss a couple of games. And uh, also with the COVID protocols and everything. So it's just next man up, you know, you have to go out there with what you have and uh, play. I mean, like again, tonight, you know, neither team were, you know, at full strength. And uh, so... Just have to do what you have. I mean, th those situations are very unfortunate. You know, you don't, you don't want to miss any of your you know, teammates. You want to have everyone out there. And uh, but it's part of it. And no, we can't you know sit here and complain about it. We just have to you know, move on and uh, try to you know find the you know try to keep uh, playing well and uh, achieve our goals. 
Okay, last question, we'll go to Josh Robbins. Booch, uh, the question Philip asked you um, is similar to the one I'm gonna ask. Is there anything that you and, and Cole can do to kind of build up uh, your rhythm in the pick and roll, uh, considering that the two of you haven't played too, too much together? Just gotta pass me the ball and he'll be fine. No, I'm kidding, he, he's right there, so I'm kidding. Uh, no, I mean, I th think uh, it's just, I think over time, I mean, the, the, the more he plays in that role and the more we play together in pick and roll, you know, we, we're gonna build a chemistry and uh, it's gonna get better and better. Uh, so, it was, I mean, it was the same thing with no everybody else, no every other player that you know, played a point guard here before. And like with Markel last year, it took us a little bit to, to get it all together, get it, you know, right. And uh, we did, and, you know, then you start playing. I think it's just, just reps and reps over and over and over, you know, every in practice and games, you know, there's going to be some you know, good moments, bad moments. It's just part of it. And uh, I think that just the repetition of, you know, playing together, you know, he's going to get a feel for what I like to do. Uh, I'll get a feel of what he likes to do and things like that. And so, uh, we'll just figure it out. I mean, as we go, but uh, I mean, like I said, he's you know talented player, good player. He's been playing basketball for a while, and uh, so he'll be all right. Okay, thank you, Vooch. No 